food for thought. Pardon the pun. Yeah, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And here's a little tidbit of Pat's Two Cents. You know how we get so full with the food that we can barely breathe? Well, here's the comical part. You just wait three or four hours, you watch a couple of movies, or you sit around and play some table games, or whatever you do as a family or as a group. And guess what? Four or five hours later, what happens? You got room for more now, don't you? You're not full any longer, are you? No, you're not. So what do you do? You go back for seconds. You go back for thirds. You go back, oh, let me stop. I'm making myself full, thinking about it. I had one big helping and I'm done. <laughs> I'm done for the day. I can't handle anymore. My friend brought me a plate and we sat in the car and chit-chatted for a while. But I really wasn't in the mood for a house full of people or company or I just wanted to kind of be, have a little downtime. So I'm spending my Thanksgiving with you. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I know, I just made your day. Yeah. Well, anyway, what I thought about was having to go back for that next plate or feeling like you need to eat again is something you will never have to experience once God fills you. When he touches you on the inner man, you have given your heart to the Lord. He has filled you with, your Holy, with his Holy Spirit. He is uh, dousing you with his love, his peace, his joy. And life is now worth living. And you start finding yourself with a, a growing feeling a fullness but you're not full of food in this fullness you're filled with the fullness of God it's really difficult to explain what that means but when you get it you know it it never leaves you even when you're crying and life has kicked you in the teeth a few times which life does since we do live in a fallen world. But there's always that something inside. I don't know if you want to call it an anchor to your soul, a buoy in the ocean that stops you from sinking down in the depths of despair. I don't know what you want to call it. Everyone has their own terms. But I just refer to it as a fullness that keeps me when I want to fall apart, this fullness keeps me. And no matter what, even when my husband passed away, I never lost the fullness of God. Ah, there's just something I wish I could get you to experience it. I wish I could wave a magic wand, throw some, some goofy dust or some, some magic dust all over you. But I can't do that. That's not for me to do. The only way for you to drink his living water and be filled for good is to go to him. He is the source of our fullness. And I hope you do that. Why don't you do it today? No need in waiting for tomorrow. Enjoy your fullness and enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving.